In this Spectrum Protect version 818 demo, I'm going to show you how to utilize AWS S3 Intelligent Tiering with IBM Spectrum Protect's cloud off-premise storage pools. So back in version 717, we introduced the ability in Spectrum Protect to utilize Amazon Simple Storage Services using the S3 protocol so that we could store our backup archive, database backups, all of those out in a off-premise cloud storage that was run by Amazon. In version 818, we're taking these off-premise cloud containers that are already being utilized on AWS, and we're adding in the ability to utilize an AWS feature called intelligent tiering. And what AWS3 intelligent tiering is, is an Amazon service that customers are charged to utilize and they're charged a small monthly fee. And what it does is it takes the data in the AWS S3 standard class. And if that data hasn't been read for 30 days, Amazon will automatically tier it to their S3 infrequent access class. This S3 infrequent access class is cheaper to store data on, so the customer has that advantage. And the restore performance, as well as the data durability ratings, which is an Amazon rating, are equivalent for both of those types of storage. If a customer is going to turn on this AWS S3 intelligent tiering, they need to go out on AWS and read about it and enable it on their AWS offering. Then they're going to go into Spectrum Protect 818 and turn on this feature inside of their AWS off-premise cloud container. If it's a new container, you can do this by going into the Operation Center storage pools. You'll add in a storage pool. It'll be an off-premise cloud pool, Amazon S3, cloud storage class, and then you'll choose the S3 intelligent tiering. Now you can update an existing off-premise cloud container inside of Spectrum Protect to start utilizing this new service, but only data that's written after you enable this service will be eligible to be tiered inside of the Amazon cloud. Likewise, if you had this Amazon intelligent tiering on and you turned it off for Spectrum Protect container pools, only data after you turn it off will be written back to the standard AWS cloud and not be eligible for the tiering. Where the data actually resides in AWS is kind of invisible to Spectrum Protect. We just think it's out in one of the containers and then underneath the covers, Amazon might be moving it between these two tiers. Now, all data that Spectrum Protect writes out to the Amazon cloud is eligible for this intelligent tiering. So it doesn't matter if it's a Spectrum Protect backup or archive or TDB data that's written directly to an off-premise AWS cloud container, or if it's Spectrum Protect data that's tiered from a directory container to an off-premise AWS container pool, or if it's SP data that's replicated to a target Spectrum Protect server that uses AWS cloud pools, or it could even be Spectrum Protect plus data that has been offloaded to Spectrum Protect and written to the Spectrum Protect's AWS off-premise cloud pool. So all of those are eligible. Let's go ahead and do a demo and show you how this works. From inside of the Spectrum Protect Operations Center version 818 or higher, from the storage pools page, if you're creating a new AWS S3 storage pool, you'll first click on plus storage pools Go ahead and name the Spectrum Protect off-premise container and choose the Spectrum Protect server you want it to reside on. Click Next. You're going to choose off-premise cloud. Click Next. Go ahead and choose the type of cloud. In this case, it's Amazon. Enter the access key ID that you received when you set up the Amazon AWS service as well as the secret access key that you received from Amazon when you set up the service. Next, either enter an existing bucket name or a new bucket name. If it is a new bucket name, it will actually create that 
on Amazon AWS for you. You'll then want to choose a region that's closest to where your servers are. So we're choosing the US West. And now for the new piece, this is where you're gonna choose either the AWS S3 standard class, or you're going to choose the intelligent tiering. So we'll go ahead and choose intelligent tiering. And then we'll go ahead and select next. Now enter a pre-existing directory that you're gonna use for the cache that we write to prior to sending it out to the cloud. This helps to make sure that your backups aren't impacted. The only reason you wouldn't enter a cache is if you were just using this for directory container to cloud tiering. Okay, now we've gone ahead and added in this storage pool. And the next step I'll show you what to do is if you wanna make changes to an existing storage pool, how you could do that. So inside of the Operation Center storage pools, go ahead and select that Amazon S3 storage pool, click on details, and then click on properties. Inside of properties, you will see this cloud portion. You will need to unlock it so that you can make changes to it. So click the unlock. And now down here, we have the cloud settings class, and you can either choose to have it be S3 standard or the S3 intelligent tiering. So you can make a change here. Now remember, if you make a change, only data sent to the cloud after the change will follow those new storage pool rules. Amazon will not move around data that's already in that container. Okay, so once you've made your change, you can go ahead and save that and exit out of this piece. Let's go ahead and look at Amazon. Here we are inside AWS, and you can see that this piece of Spectrum Protect data has actually been written out to a Amazon pool where intelligent tiering is turned on. So that's what it'll look like inside of Amazon. In conclusion, what I've talked about today is our new AWS intelligent tiering capability. Do not get this confused with the container tiering that is native to Spectrum Protect, where you can tier from a directory container out to cloud or a directory container to tape. This AWS intelligent tiering is run and managed by Amazon itself. You should read the Amazon rules, regulations, and charges associated with AWS Intelligent Tiering. From a Spectrum Protect perspective, we just see the data as out on Amazon, and we don't know if it's in the AWS S3 standard class or if it's in the AWS S3 infrequent access class. So thank you very much, and go ahead and give this new feature a try if you have Amazon Cloud off-premise pools.